Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sanjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about the left factory. Okay. So what is the meaning of left factory? So now we will discuss. In a grammar, in a grammar, if RHS production, in a grammar, if RHS production, having common prefix in a grammar, if in a grammar, if RHS production having common prefix, then it is not suitable, then it is not suitable for LL1 grammar. Then it is not suitable for LL1 grammar. See here. In a grammar, if RHS production having common prefix, what is the meaning of common prefix? See, just see the grammar. Just see the grammar. This grammar contains, in this grammar, it contains the common prefix. See here, the first production, it contains a. In the second production, it also contains what a. So that's why this grammar, this grammar is not suitable. This grammar is not suitable for LL1 per se. This grammar is not suitable for LL1 per se. This grammar is also called as non-left factor grammar. Non. Non. Left factor grammar. Okay, this grammar is also called as non left factor grammar. So, if a grammar contains any non left factor grammars or common prefix, so this grammar is not suitable for. LL1 parsing. This grammar is not suitable for LL1 parsing. So we have to remove this non or we have to remove the common prefix. We have to remove the common prefix. How? Using the left factoring process. Using the left factoring process. How? Here, here A is the common. Here A is the common. So we'll write here S2 just common value here. We just take the common means common A from first production and A from second production. So S2 A is here. Then S prime. Then S prime. So what is the meaning of S prime? So S prime is nothing but the remaining part. In the first production, after taking the common means common part A, the remaining part is here B. So I'll just write here B. And here it also contains the remaining part is here C. Here it contains C. Okay. So this grammar, so this grammar is called as left factor. This grammar is called as left factor grammar. This grammar is called as left factor grammar. This grammar is called as left factor grammar. So this process, this process means will convert from non-left factor grammar to left factor grammar. This process is called as, this process is called as what? Left factoring process. This process is called as left factoring. This process is called as what? This process. This process is called as left factoring process. Left. factoring this process is called as left factoring process okay now we'll see some examples of how if a grammar means how to convert uh, some non left factor grammar to left factor grammar so finally the non left factor grammar is not suitable for ll1 grammar but the left factor grammar but the left factor grammar is always suitable for ll1 grammar ll1 parsing right now we'll see some example convert the following grammar convert the following grammar into left factor grammar convert the following grammar into left factor grammar so here this s s has three production this s has three production see what is the common prefix from s 
E has only one production. There is no common prefix in E. There is no common prefix in the E. E production. But S in S production, in S production, there is some prefixes are there. What is the prefix? Common prefix? Here I E T S. Here is also I E T S. There is also I E T S. This is the common prefix. Now we will remove using this means common prefix using left factoring process. How? So here S2. What is the common? I E T S. I E T S. This is the common. And S prime, we can write S prime here. What is the meaning of S prime? Here S prime is, here S prime is, is nothing but what? Here we take all, there is no remaining part in this first part. Because here we have already taken the common prefix is I, E, T, S, this one. So here there nothing means epsilon is there. Nothing means epsilon is there. Here, E S, this part is there, means E S. Okay, so we can write A in the S part. We can write A in the rest, A part, sorry, S part, and E to B in the final production, E to B. We can also write E to B in the final production. So, this grammar is called as this grammar is called as left factor grammar. Left factor. This grammar is called as left factor grammar. But this grammar is means this grammar is suitable for L L one grammar. But this grammar is not suitable for is not suitable for LL1, means not LL1 grammar, okay? So in this way, we can remove the common prefixes from non-left factor grammar, okay? Now we'll see one more example. See, this is one more. Now we'll take some common part, here see BS is here common. Here is also BS is there. Here is also BS is there. So now we'll take the common S2, but BS, B, then S, then S prime. Okay. So what is the meaning of S prime here? See, the S prime is here, the remaining part. The remaining part is here. In the first production, S A A S. S A A S plus here the remaining part is S A S B. S A S B. Here remaining part is B. Here remaining part is B. Okay, right. Uh, the remaining parts, remaining productions in here. What? Sorry. We can write here age here. Okay. Now we'll say, is there any is there any common prefixes are there? Is there any common prefixes present uh, in the means uh, production? Now we'll check again. Here uh, in this case, there is no common prefix, but here we can also see some common prefixes. H to A here, H to A here. So we have to remove this common prefixes. How? Again, we'll use the left factoring process. See? But simply write the first one. S2. But B. S. S prime. Plus. A. S prime 2. What, what is the common prefixes? S A. S A. 
so we can use some one more new variable like s double prime s double prime here okay so what is the meaning of s double prime s double prime is nothing but the remaining part from first production of s prime means as means this part as plus here the remaining production is sb s b so simply write the remaining part is here b right so in this way we can convert the non let factor grammar to let factor grammar using the let factoring process so this grammar is suitable for l l1 parsing okay but this grammar is not suitable for not suitable for l l1 parsing okay so in this way we can convert the non left factor to uh, left factor grammar okay in the next class we'll discuss about the bottom up parsing so we have already finished about the top down approach or top down parsing approach okay in the next class we'll discuss about the bottom up approach or bottom up parsing okay thanks for watching